Welcome back in your consumer news this morning. A new survey shows that more than 50% of Americans have some sort of credit card balance. While most want to pay it off, it can be a struggle to find ways to do just that, especially when you're dealing with inflation. Here with some tips to help you dig yourself out of debt is our money and business expert, Derek Kinney. Good morning to you, Derek. Good morning, Cleo. Great to see you on this rainy, rainy Saturday. I know. A perfect day to stay at home like you are, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Listen, for people who do have credit card debt, with the, which is actually most of us, what's the first thing they should do to tackle it head on? Well, first of all, my heart goes out. That's about half of everybody watching has a balance that they want to pay off, but they don't always know what to do. So the first step is to write it all down on one sheet of paper mm -hmm. or on the notes app on your phone. Think of it like a financial x-ray, Cleo. You want to know where you stand today and really where the pain is that you want to make go away. Now, it's going to look ugly and you're going to be confronted with all the debt you have. But once yeah. you see that, that's step one to creating the game plan. Sounds like a great game, game plan if I could talk right this morning. Uh, Derek, what about goals? Are, are there certain payoffs people should aim for when it comes to this? Well, there are, and you want to keep it simple. And so right now we're starting February, essentially. So we're one twelfth of the way through the year. What I recommend people do is set a monthly progress goal mm -hmm. or at a minimum, set a quarterly goal. And you want to meet with the, the one you love the most. It might be your spouse, a good friend, an accountability partner, someone you share, hey, I want to pay off this amount of debt mm -hmm. by this date. And I want you to ask me about it because most of us don't want to look into the eyes of someone we care about and say, you know what, I didn't do what I told you I would do. That can really help you make good progress. Yeah, accountability. Another tip you talk about is balancing your budget. Can you explain that? Yeah, so many people just say, well, just spend less, Cleo. Just, just spend less at Netflix and, and don't spend as much at Starbucks in the drive through But ultimately, you can only save down so much. You've got to ask yourself a hard, tough question, and that is, are you actually making enough money mm. to pay off your debt? Sure, you like to think you could cut, yeah. but you might have to think about, do I need to get a side gig, work part-time, get some extra hours at my job, ask for the raise, which I always help people with. And that then means you take that money and put it all toward the debt. So be realistic. You may not have enough money to do it, but if you find a way, you can really make progress. And Derek, you're the expert here. I mean, for some people who are struggling, like you said, is it ever an option where you can call and say, listen, I don't want this credit card anymore. Can you just turn it off and let me let me make some payments? Oh, yeah. Now, keep in mind, you want to be very delicate with the wording that you choose okay. because the credit card companies, A, want to get paid mm -hmm. and they know that they want to get the money from you. So if they hear you talking about we're delinquent and we can't make the payments, you want to let them know, look, I'm serious about making this payment, but can we stretch it out? Can you reduce the interest rate? Mm. Can you reduce my card fee? Can you give me some flexibility? Because ultimately, they'd rather work with you than lose money and not get any money back. So you've got the power. The key is be proactive. Don't wait until the, the bill is due tomorrow right. to call credit card company and say, I'm really in a big jam here. So make that call and see if there's some options for you. Last question here, Derek, when it comes to staying motivated and positive, what's the best way to do that? Well, lip service doesn't do it, Cleo. And here's what I mean by that is you need to set some goals that motivate you to take action. So for example, let's say you love that pedicure. You love the manicure. You love that fancy frappuccino at your favorite coffee shop or your nice mixed drink or you like to go to that concert, yeah. you want to sketch out a couple things throughout the year that you and your accountability partner are celebrating. That way, when you're working hard to, <coughs> to cut and have self-discipline and, and say no to purchases, you know you're working yourself toward a goal you want. But keep in mind, all the splurges, you want to pay cash for those. We don't want to put those on credit and really magnify the problem. Derek, great insight, great points there. Thank you so much for joining us here on Daybreak. Hey, my pleasure, Cleo. Have a great weekend. Always a pleasure to have you. Thank you.